Hey, nice clock. Thank you, it's very special. It has an hour hand, it completes a full circle every 12 hours, and a minute hand that moves 12 times as fast, taking exactly one hour I to... know how a clock works. Hold on, why are the hour and minute hands the same length? That's what makes this clock special. Doesn't that make it ambiguous? Well, sometimes. How can you tell the time? You can usually tell the usually? time. Usually? Yes, usually. Most of the but time. not always. Not always. But usually. Look at the clock now, for example. Can you tell what time it is? One hand is pointing at 8, the other hand is pointing at 12. 8 o'clock. Right. Could it be anything else? Well, if this were the hour hand, then it would be 12.40, but that's not right because this hand would have to be further round towards the 1. It's definitely 8 o'clock. I mean, I don't know whether it's 8 a.m. or 8 p.m., but... It's a 12-hour <laughs> clock. Right. It's a 12-hour clock. So it's clear and unambiguous. And most times are like this. But sometimes are ambiguous. Right. Sometimes are ambiguous. Well, how many times are ambiguous? That's a great question. Let's be clear what we mean. An ambiguous time on this clock is one where you cannot tell what time it is since the exact position of the two hands occurs twice in a 12-hour cycle. Do you think you can work out how many there are? Um, I want to start by finding one example of an ambiguous time. Why don't you start from 12 and try looking for the first ambiguous time? Okay, sure. Well, as the minute hand moves around a bit, I know the minute hand must be the one to the right because it's moved faster. And it has not yet completed a full rotation. Until it moves past the one. Then what happens? Well, once one hand is moved past the one, we can't be sure which hand is which. It could be the case that this is now the hour hand and it's just past one o'clock. Or it could be the case that it's the minute hand, which would make it just past, just past 12.05. But can you calculate when that exact ambiguous time occurs? Um, I guess we could use algebra to set up an equation for the position of each hand and solve it. Let's do it. Okay, well, the minute hand takes 60 minutes to complete a full 360 degrees rotation. So it moves at 6 degrees per minute. And the hour hand? It takes 12 hours to complete a full 360 degrees rotation. That's 720 minutes, so 2 degrees per minute. Are you sure about that? Yes, 360 degrees in 720 minutes, that's... Oh, sorry, that's half a degree per minute. All right, so let's define some variables. How about M for the position of the minute hand and H for the hour hand? You could do that, but remember you're looking for an ambiguous time, so you're going to have two times where the hand positions are identical. Why don't you let X be the number of minutes past midday for the earlier ambiguous time and Y be the number of minutes for the later ambiguous time that gives the same clock position. Okay, so the minute hand after X minutes should be exactly where the hour hand is after Y minutes and vice versa. 6X equals half Y and half X equals 6Y. Something doesn't seem right. Yes, you need to adjust for the fact that one of the hands has already done a full rotation. Oh yes, of course. Well, why is the later time? It's the minute hand that has gone all the way around, so should be 0.5x equals 6y minus 360. Right. Do you know how to solve that system of equations? I can sketch the graphs using Desmos and find the point of intersection. Well, that's not the way I learned to solve simultaneous equations, but you go for it. Here we go. The solution occurs at x equals 5.03 and y equals 60.42. That means the first ambiguous time occurs 5 minutes after midday, that's just after 12.05pm. The position of the clock hands at this time is identical to the position 60.42 minutes after midday, that's just after 1pm. Well done. And how would you modify those equations to find the next solution? Well, the next time would be once the y hand has gone around twice, so... I subtract 2 times 360. That is here. You're on a roll. And I can keep on subtracting multiples of 360 up to 11 because it only goes around 12 times. That gives 11 solutions or 11 pairs of ambiguous times. Do you think that's all? Um, well, the last solution occurs here at about x equals 55.4. That's about 1255. Okay, okay, so now we need to let the x minute hand go around again. So we subtract 360 from 6x in the first equation. And again, and again. Yep, 
11 times again. So how many ambiguous times do you have? Well, M and N range from 0 to 11. That's 12 by 12 or 144 intersection points. They are symmetrical about the diagonal. And as you said, let Y be the later time, we can ignore the solutions below the diagonal. Each point above the diagonal gives two ambiguous times. What about the points on the diagonal? Well, if X and Y are equal, that's only one time, so it's not ambiguous. So altogether? So altogether we have 12 by 12 equals 144, minus 12 on the diagonal, that's 132 ambiguous times. You got it. Oh yeah! Let me show you another nice way to look at it. For any position of the hour hand, there is only one possible position of the minute hand. If you could measure the hour hand precisely, you wouldn't need the minute hand at all. I guess it's just there to help us because with the naked eye, it's a bit hard to tell the exact position of the hour hand. Right. Now, let's add a third hand to the clock, which is where the minute hand would be if the minute hand were the hour hand. Basically, this third hand will move 12 times the speed of the minute hand. When this third hand crosses the hour hand, we have an ambiguous time because there are now apparently only two hands both of which could be either the hour or the minute hand. Oh yeah, that is a nice way to think about it. Then the third hand will cross the first one once each time it completes a full cycle. In the 12 hour cycle, it will complete 12 times 12 or 144 cycles. But then we subtract the 12 times when, when all three hands line up as these are not ambiguous, giving 132 ambiguous times. Very nice. And it really is a nice clock. I'll take it.